U.S. Marines has successfully verified its newest amphibious vehicle ability to work with naval shipping. Awesome video footage shows the tests of the Marine Corps new amphibious combat vehicle off the shore of Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. The Marines at Amphibious Vehicle Test Branch have tested the newest amphibious vehicle, which will replace the current amphibious assault vehicle. The testing consisted of entering and departing a naval vessel to assess and verify how well the new amphibious combat vehicle can integrate with naval shipping. This was the first time Marines have operated the new vehicle while boarding and departing a ship. According to Bay Systems, this no-compromise 88 platform provided by Iveco Defense Vehicles offering is a unique mix of true open ocean amphibious capability, land mobility, survivability, payload, and growth potential to accommodate the evolving operational needs of the United States Marine Corps. The vehicle excels in all-terrain mobility and has a suspended interior seat structure for 13 embarked Marines, blast-protected positions for an additional crew of three, and improved survivability and force protection over currently fielded systems. According to a recent service news release, U.S. Marines with Amphibious Vehicle Test Branch, Marine Corps Tactical Systems Support Activity. With the assistance from the Amphibious Transport Dockship USS Somerset, LPD-25, tested the Marine Corps new amphibious combat vehicle off the shore of Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California, January 27-28. The testing was the first time Marines have taken the ACV on and off of a naval vessel through the well deck, assessing and verifying the vehicle's ability to integrate with naval shipping. Taft has been conducting testing with the ACV for approximately three years, said us Marine Maj Justin Davis, the deputy director of MAPT. As we look to replace the legacy platform, amphibious assault vehicle, it goes without saying the ACV needs to do exactly what the OB does. The multi-day test consisted of embarking and debarking the naval vessel in multiple on-ship operations. The Marines conducted the embarking and debarking operations while the ship was moving at various speeds and with the ACVs configured at different weights. While inside the ship, the Marines tested the ACVs towing, pushing, and pulling capabilities. It's good to see these changes happening within the amphibious community, said SGT Nicholas Veckers, the vehicle commander with Haft. We are setting the standard operating procedures for these vehicles so when they hit the fleet marine force, there is a smooth transition. The ACV has proven in its testing to bring enhanced lethality, survivability, and maneuverability compared to the AV. The AV's role in testing the AGs in their developmental stage is essential to pass on to the operating forces for when it is fielded. Performing successful ship-to-shore operations takes the ACV one step closer to securing a spot in Marine Corps history.